Hey guys, Lee here, welcome to iMind Blocks. Today's video, I'm just gonna be talking a little bit about my mining performance when mining Ethereum with the new graphics card, the GTX 1660 Ti. So let's jump over to the screen capture and I'll show you the results that I'm getting there under the performance kind of characteristics. Okay, so on screen you can see I have the uh, Claymore Dual Ethereum Miner, it's version 12. I've got MSI Afterburner uh, running also and a GPU uh, Z or Z, however you want to uh, say that. So I'll talk uh, through each of the kind of the windows and um, just explain exactly what's going on for you guys. So you'll see the uh, Claymore's Ethereum uh, Miner has slowed down just a little bit, but if I scroll back just to uh, a minute or two ago, you should see that, um, sorry, let's slide that back up. So the performance that I was getting was roughly around about 29.2 to 29.4 mega hashes per second. So really good uh, performance uh, considering the size and the power of this uh, graphics card. So over 29 mega hashes when mining Ethereum. Now if I let it run, um, it will slow down slightly because obviously I've got the um, camera recording and Camtasia is also running in the background doing the screen capture, so it will affect the performance. Um, but for you guys, if you're just ma uh, mining on like a standalone machine, then you should be able to see those 29 uh, mega hash uh, results. So looking at the next window, so focusing on GPU Z uh, to uh, explain just a, a few of the uh, different features of the card. So it's a PMY card, it's a PMY Accelerate. Um, I'll put a picture so you can see what it looks like. It's a single fan design, really small, little compact card. Uh, retail price in the UK is around 260 pounds or about 330, 340 dollars. Uh, in the US. So it's kind of like an entry level card really, even though it's still, you know, a couple of hundred bucks. Uh, the memory in this uh, card is, it's micro memory and it's got six uh, gigabytes of GDDR6. Um, so what they've done is they've kind of taken a part of the touring architecture and kind of made it a small, cheaper, lightweight version um, of that. So um, you get basically a bottom end a touring card, but it doesn't support um, the RTX features. So that's kind of where you end up with this hybrid between the GTX and the RTX. It's kind of somewhere uh, in the middle. But anyway, talking about clock speeds and how I was uh, able to get this performance. So using the latest version of MSI Afterburner, um, if you've used an older version, you won't be able to get the fan control and stuff like that. It will cause um, problems. But the, also the driver version, I'm using uh, 419.67, which is the latest. Uh, okay, so talking about clock speeds, you'll see I've got a few um, settings set and they'll be uh, quite different for you guys. So the power limit I've currently got set to 58%. So that's the lowest power limit you can set with MSI Afterburner with this uh, particular graphics card. I've also unlocked the temperature limit and I've just got that set to 70, even though the temperature is currently at 58 degrees. So it's running nice and cool and not putting too much um, stress on the fans or anything like that. I've also wound down the core clock, so it's minus 502. So basically taking that down all the way as far as it can go. And the memory clock is up at plus 955. So you can see that we've got the core clock is running at 750 to 765 and the memory clock is running at uh, 6,705. 6, uh, if we take a look at it back on the GPU-Z, the uh, sensors, you'll see that the power consumption is um, between 72 and 75 watts. The total system is using about 121, 125 watts. Um, the system kind of idles at 50 watts just on its own. So that's a fairly uh, accurate number that you can see reported there. So between 72 to 75 uh, watts um, is how much the card is using itself. So really, uh, when mining Ethereum, it's a really um, memory intensive algorithm for your GPU memory. Um, so by increasing the memory um, plus 955, that's quite a significant overclock. Um, so far it seems stable. I've gone a little bit higher. I've tried like 960, 970, um, but the system would um, lock up basically. So that's as high as I've been able to get the memory clock. And the interesting thing is with the core clock in this particular case on this card, it virtually makes no difference um, at all. I've, I've uh, you know, reduced the power limit, which naturally reduces the core clock, and then wind down, like manually reduce the core clock as well, so take it really uh, low indeed. 
and um, it basically has no no effect so you can run the core clock at like 750 or you can run it at 1950 and that you know 1200 megahertz difference on the core clock makes no difference to the ethereum uh, mining performance uh, one thing i haven't tried just yet is kind of increasing the core clock significantly um, maybe if i take it up to over 2000 see whether it has any effect but i'm um, certainly winding it down and going for an efficient kind of um, mode doesn't doesn't have um, any effect at all just looking along at the sort of the charts so we've got this pop out um, chart of from the MSI afterburner uh, the reason why I have this out is just kind of so I can see what's going on particularly with the core clocks you would kind of want to see that sort of fairly stable and low and also just to make sure that the memory clock is holding at the higher so you can see it's 6706 so that's really what I was looking for sometimes when you reduce your power limit it can turn down both the core clock and the memory clock so you're not going to be getting that performance so that's why I have that out like that just so you can kind of see both core clocks um, over a period of time and just make sure they're not being throttled uh, also uh, again with temperature as well sometimes if the car gets too hot to, um, it will start throttling basically means that your um, core and memory clocks will start reducing and obviously you'll get less performance but throttling is not a temperature uh, sorry not, not an issue on this card either running nice and cool even with a single fan although I do have the side of the PC case uh, wide open so in a more enclosed space it, it could get a little bit hotter okay guys so I'm gonna leave it there for this one I just wanted to share a more condensed and um, kind of informative video for you just really focusing on that ethereum uh, mining performance and sharing what results I'm um, getting with it if you guys have got any suggestions perhaps using a different version of an ethereum miner or if you've tested with um, higher clocks um, let me know what your results are um, I'll be interested to know um, you know what they are so leave those in the comments uh, any other questions or anything like that put those in the comments area and I'll be sure to get back to you guys and uh, it's always great interacting uh, with you guys in the community okay so thanks very much for watching i'll see you guys on the next video